Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, we just took a ribeye, we marinated Hawaiian style, and we did a like a garlic crispy fried rice along with some grilled pineapple. If you guys wanna see how we make this, here we go. All right, to get started, let's talk about the list of ingredients. Now, before you say something, we have done a real Hawaiian style beef. This is the rush version, okay? Two things to think about. If you're gonna do this, maybe marinate it for an hour, I would probably suggest you boil it to dissolve the brown sugar completely, let it cool, and then marinate the steaks. We're doing the long uh, marinade overnight, so I'm not necessarily worried about it. I can flip it multiple times, not a big deal. Really quickly to run down the ingredients, we have some pineapple juice, make sure it's canned, not fresh. If it's fresh, it's gonna eat up the meat, whether it be chicken, beef, pork, it doesn't matter. You gotta use the canned stuff. Brown sugar, soy sauce, we have some apple cider vinegar and some Worcestershire sauce, garlic and ginger. Today I'm gonna to make some uh, rice, keep it in the refrigerator overnight, and tomorrow we're gonna to do a garlic fried rice with some uh, grilled pineapple to go along with these Hawaiian style or teriyaki style marinated ribeyes. We're just adding all the ingredients in here, we'll give it a good mix. I wanted to have plenty of time to allow this marination to happen. I didn't want to rush it, so we're out here at six o'clock at night marinating steaks for tomorrow. The uh, soy sauce, just to let you know, is 25% uh, less sodium. Pick out the one that you like. Uh, we can have the list of ingredients listed below in the description. You guys can check that out. So what, did you do anything special with the ribeyes to dry them out? Well, they were frozen, so when I thawed them out, I just let them air dry overnight. Um, you know, that way they're not sitting in their own juices and stuff, so. So. To say that I did something special, no, it's just I'll just put them on a, that's typically how I'll thaw stuff out. Now that we have the steaks in the bag, um, we're going to add the pineapple juice. Obviously, you don't want to add the pineapple juice when you're supposed to, which is when you're mixing all the other ingredients together. Me, on the other hand, just like to make things extremely difficult. Give it a few mixes and then separate your beef. We should be able to put it like we had it. Single layer. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do tonight is basically before I go to bed, I'll flip these. And then in the morning when I wake up, I'll flip them again. And that should be pretty good. You can see there's a lot of marination right here for coverage. So I'm not necessarily worried about how much it gets. All right, so it's the next day. This is the idea. The ribeyes have been marinating overnight. It's about six o'clock yesterday when we started it. And it is uh, 1123 right now. So it gives you the time frame for that. I'm kind of torn. As you guys know, I don't really test recipes. I just love to cook, so I cook a lot of stuff from the heart. This was an idea. In my video of how to cook steaks, or three of my tips to cook steaks, however you want to word it, I always feel like a drier steak with a little bit of oil creates a better Maillard reaction. I would think this is naturally a lot better over open flame. Since we have a surface, I don't want it to boil. So the reason why I say that, I don't know if I should keep it wet and sear it, which won't sear. Then you gotta worry about the sugars on the griddle. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little cooling well, rack right here. We have two steaks. We could do one each that's way. Exact girl, you read my mind. <laughs> so that's the idea. I'm gonna keep one of them wet just to check it out. And the other one we're gonna pat dry and see how much marinade was able to penetrate. What you see over here is just kind of like classic. We love a crispy garlic rice when we did um Does Your Fried Rice Suck through all the many, many, many different ways we found out that no matter how you do it, MSG, no MSG, oil, butter, it, I don't care. The garlic and the butter, to get it tender and then toss the garlic and the butter is something that we absolutely love. Like the garlic just becomes fragrant. I think it flavors the rice more than a lot of the uh, uh, condiments do. So that's what we're gonna do, simple. So steak, a little quick uh, crispy garlic fried rice and we're gonna uh, grill some pineapple. Just taking a paper towel, I'm just gonna pat all that moisture off as possible. I'm sure it doesn't need salt or seasonings, so that might help us. Maybe just a touch of black pepper. What do you think? Hey, you're you're the boss. I'm something. First things first, we're gonna add a little oil to the bottom of the griddle. If you guys want step-by-step -step instructions, how we like this fried rice, you guys can check that video out. Other than that, I'm just gonna breeze right through this.
Notice we haven't flipped the rice. We're still allowing that bottom to fry up a little bit. See that fried rice action right there? That crispiness? That's what we're looking for. Um, so now what we're gonna do is turn this side of the griddle on low, and then we're going to prepare our steak. So I'm gonna cook on this burner and this burner. That seems to be the hottest part of the grill. And uh, we're just gonna see if there's a difference whether or not you should dry it off or you can keep it wet. So quickly the temps, 450 and 440, close enough for me. And this is the non-drawed one. This is just the wet one. Ooh. Damn, that looks good. Yeah. As you know, anytime you use sugary substances, you gotta clean as you go. Every time you flip, I was worried about how much residue would leave behind. That's why I didn't want to do it wet. I'll show you the difference. Let this spot right here heat up just a little bit. We're actually better to go like this. Yeah. See that sauce? You want to get it off there immediately. So the one that was patted dry definitely looks better, like mm. it did better. Yeah. Which is what you would expect. Which goes back to those steak tips that we gave you, you know, the how to cook a better steak on the griddle. Remember, this is that raw marinade, so you're gonna to have to flip it one more time. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect already. Just like in my video, uh, accessory video that we just redid. Um, I thought it was extremely important to have something similar to this. This is my Thermo Pro Lightning. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so we got that crispy garlic rice. Now remember, it's not necessarily fried rice because you don't have egg in it. No or vegetables. Yeah. It's definitely more of like a garlic Crispy rice. Crispy garlic rice. All right, so we got the wet here. So this is spinalis. So I'm just gonna open this up. This is our favorite part. And we'll do the same thing over here. So take a bite of that. Mm. No difference. So what that tells me is it's actually gonna be a cleaner cook. You can get away with not adding the marinade and keeping it wet. I would recommend you drown it off. You get the same flavor and you don't have big near as the mess, okay? Mm. It definitely seems like the marinade really- uh, Penetrated? Penetrated, yeah. Yep, I agree. Look at the difference in the color and it's cooked to the same temp. That's weird. Mm hmm I really think it's the marinade yeah. that made it a different color on the inside. Alrighty, well there she is. You got your uh, grilled pineapple. That rice is on point, I'm telling you. I've been snacking on it like, mm, I love it. <laughs> it's that crispiness, the chewiness, the garlic. It's very garlicky. Mm. Don't think for one second we haven't been snacking on this steak either. Oh yeah, we have been. <laughs> Just get everything in one bite. Mm. I 
I know, give me another piece of steak. <laughs> when you said, let's make a Hawaiian style ribeye, I was thinking, mm, is it just gonna taste like ribeye? You know, but it doesn't. I mean, it tastes like Hawaiian ribeye. Yeah, I'm not saying this is authentic when it comes to teriyaki, so don't at me. <sighs> it's different, mm. just something different. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. That was a good, mm. <laughs> that's a deep, mm. <laughs> So I just think it's something different to throw on the griddle. Something for date night, something for dinner night. It's, uh, it didn't take long. You know, you marinate the steak before. You can see the longest thing today was just the fried rice, right? You do the fried rice before. Uh, comes out fantastic. So mm. if you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram. You can also check us out on the, uh, the Griddle Group on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the no case button. Share with your friends. Peace. That's a good dish. Mm, that's good. That's really good. Mm.